Hi everyone, it's Coop here, sending you love wherever you are right now. I often get emails and, and messages from some of you and folks from all around the world often asking me, Coop, how do I decide who to be in a relationship with? How do I know if I've met the one? How do I know if I'm in the right relationship with? Well, here's my thought. I believe that there's no such thing as a right relationship. There's no such thing as the only relationship. Relationship, sacred relationship is a sacred opportunity to to find out who you are and I believe the real purpose of relationship gives you the opportunity to evolve. I think it's great to have lovely dinners and great sex and climb mountains and go on vacations and walk in the park and it's all great but I think when you really understand the real purpose of relationship which is the opportunity for the evolution of your soul where you come together with another person, you come together with another reflection, another manifestation of the infinite, of the divine, you come together with this being that you are blessed to have the opportunity to share a moment of your life with, whether it's a lifetime, whether it's 10 years, 20 years, 50 years, 100 years, who knows, you know, these days with technology, they say we're gonna live a thousand years. However long it happens to be, that you have an opportunity to share a moment, to look into the depth of the soul of another human being is a gift. So I think, the right relationship and how you know, how you really know, how do you know? I think part of it is beyond an emotion. Many times we are choosing partners to be in a relationship because they make us feel good about ourselves, because they, they kind of, you know, uh, uh, pacify uh, 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 a certain neediness, pacify a certain unmet need. I believe then that's not true love. That person is, is, is serving a function that is really like a drug. They're giving us something that we're not truly in touch with, our, with ourselves in that moment. And that sets up a pattern of codependency which ultimately isn't healthy and is never truly fulfilling. And many times we aren't, we aren't actually choosing. We think we're choosing a relationship, but, but really we're not choosing. If you look at some of the partners that you have been with, just take, can we talk? If you look at some of the partners that you've been with, just take a look back, five years, 10 years, 20 years, and you think, you know, in those moments you met them, you were so sure you were in love. You told your friends like, I met the one, I'm in love with them, they are the one. And then the whole thing fell apart, and five years later, or from this point looking back, if you look back and think about that person, doesn't, don't a few of them make you wonder what on earth you were thinking? And you and make you go, what was, what was that? That was crazy. Because we often weren't thinking. We thought we were choosing, but we were being run. We were often being run by our past programming and conditioning, and, and which really clouded our ability to choose, discern, feel, and see clearly. We weren't truly choosing in that moment, but we were being run by our past conditioning and programming. So in terms of the right relationship, we must remember the real purpose of relationship. The real purpose of relationship being two people coming together to assist each other in evolving. Two people coming together with a joint commitment. A joint commitment and intention to say, look, I see who you are. I see who you are. And my intention is to commit to serving your growth and evolution so that you can become the highest expression of yourself so that you can realize the highest version be the best version of yourself possible the opportunity when you know you've met the right person when you look in their eyes and you see them seeing you you know you've met the right person at least in that moment when you look into your partner's eyes and you see them seeing who you really are and in their presence, in that person's presence, you're actually more inspired, you're actually more, if, more inspired to be, to love, to express, to shine your light, to give your gift, to be your most authentic self and they are committed and they are supportive and they are determined and they are intentionally committed to supporting you in being that and nothing less than that. Sadly, I found that many times you go into a relationship, you know, and, and there's this thing of like, you know, if you really knew who I really am, you won't love me or, or we go into a relationship 
playing out our childhood patterns and there's a fear and there's a there's a fear it's like well who, who do I who do you need me to be in order for you to love me and what's sad is as a result we end up being who our partners think who we think our partners want us to be and as a result we end up compromising parts of ourselves as a result we end up hiding parts of ourselves as a result we end up pretending to be something that we're not and in doing so we 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 aren't honoring of who we are in doing so we abandon our souls our hearts our true selves i believe that whenever you betray yourself you set yourself up to be betrayed the right the right relationship is a relationship that supports you in being your most authentic self and settles for nothing, nothing less. When you come together with someone, you know they're the right person. When you look them in the eyes and you recognize yourself and you are inspired to be more, you're inspired to stretch into that next level of yourself when actually it's a little uncomfortable playing small and that person is that committed and you're that committed. When you know you're in the right relationship, when in their presence you, you feel more of who you are, they, they, they celebrate your essence, they give, you, they give you even more permission to express yourself. But sadly, many of us shrink. We shrink ourselves in order to be loved. If you're in a relationship where you're compromising your essence, I'm not saying you know certain adjustments compromise on the surface. I'm just talking about compromising your essence, compromising your core soul, ess essential nature. In order to be in that relationship, I'll ask you a question. Is it worth it? Because chances are you will end up feeling miserable. You'll end up feeling <clears throat> unhappy. It will create conflicts in the relationship because the energy won't be flowing between you both harmoniously because you won't feel in harmony with yourself. Your relationship with yourself will be misaligned in that moment. So whenever you abandon yourself in order to be loved by someone else, you simply set yourself up, my friends. The right relationship is when two people come together with a similar direction, a similar intention, a similar vision, with a similar commitment to serve each other's growth and evolution. So that when stuff happens, because guess what? It's not about if stuff is going to come up in relationship. Stuff will come up if relationship is about evolution, all those and in your growth, all those places within yourself that aren't, you could say, enlightened yet, aren't evolved yet, will have to come up for you to look at, face, embrace, love, heal, and integrate. It has to come up as part of the process. So that when stuff comes up, nothing is wrong, nothing is bad, you didn't do anything wrong. It's the nature of relationship, it's part of the process of what it's about. When you have that understanding and when your partner has that understanding of the nature of relationship and the purpose of relationship, then when stuff comes up, you don't have to get freaked out. You can be conscious and intentional about how you love each other and nourish each other and work with each other through and hold each other through the bumps that come up because they will come up. I think part of choosing a partner is deciding also is not looking for a perfect person because many times we're looking for the perfect, the perfect person. And I believe there's no perfect person. Sometimes the most perfect people, the, the most, your most perfect soulmate might come in a package that you least expect. But they'll be perfect for you because they'll be the one that can get cracked through your heart, cracked through your defense mechanism and get to, the, get to that place, that wound inside of you that you might have been holding on to that has felt unlovable. That part of you that has had a wound of abandonment and they trigger that perfectly. And if they're the right one for you, <clears throat> and if you're the right one for them, how you know you found or you're with the right person <clears throat> is if they understand the purpose of relationship so that when stuff comes up, they don't run, you don't run, but you stand in the fire like a, <clears throat> like a soul warrior. You stand in the crucible, the fire of love, the fire of relatedness, and you love and you stand there and you bless each other and you heal each other and as a result your true self comes to light I believe there's no such thing as a wrong relationship but when, you're, when you choose and you're in the right relationship <clears throat> 
You'll know it because you will feel more of who you are. It may not always feel light and fluffy. <clears throat> it may not always feel <clears throat> rainbows and unicorns. It may not always feel, you know, happy all the time. But deep down your soul will feel the growth. Your soul will know the growth. It will, you will feel an inner alignment within yourself. An inner strengthening of your soul waking up becoming who you really are. And ultimately my friends the right relationship starts with you. Starts with you honoring yourself, honoring your heart and honoring your soul. Honor yourself, honor your soul, honor who you really are. And when you do that, you can give that gift of who you are to another. Love you lots. If you enjoyed this blog, subscribe, share it with someone you love. Sending you love now.